Fantasy Philosophers is brought to you by Fantasy-Info.com. Let's get into our week three stardom sit uh, Starters that we're looking at here that I have written out. Uh, Donovan McNabb, Darren McFadden, Mike Sims Walker. And there's a lot of good defenses for fantasy that have good matchups actually this week. Uh, so go ahead and start those. If you do need one, maybe if you have the Cowboys or Saints teams, we're recommending you bench. Redskins could be a def- decent defense that you could go pick up. They are facing the Rams this week. Uh, for McNabb, hey, he had a great game last week, and he's playing the Rams, so keep him in there, and he should have a productive day. Darren McFadden, he's starting to shred off that bust label, that's for sure. Uh, had 30 carries for 145 yards against the Rams. Plays the Cardinals this week. The Falcons just made mincemeat of them last week. Didn't matter if it was Turner or Snelling. Didn't matter. They just ran all over him. So start him this week. Mike Sims Walker, I'm saying to start him this week. Because he had the 10 catches last week. Yes, he did get a decent amount of those when the team was behind. But uh, they he definitely showed up again. This is definitely what I wanted to see as week one. He didn't have a catch. So I would stay with Walker unless you have a really good deep receiving core. So go with those guys if you do. Uh, Sidums, we have Kyle Orton, Jamal Charles, Percy Harvin. And then we did talk about the defenses shortly there. Uh, for Kyle Orton... The first couple weeks, he's had real good matchups. This week, he's playing the Colts, and the Colts have been dominant against the pass so far. So I would not go with him. They should test the ground game with no Sean Moreno. Should try to run against him if they can. Jamal Charles, hey, he's got great talent. If you don't have good depth on your team, then you're probably going to keep starting him, obviously. But with Charles, the big problem, this is the concern that uh, I was having with him coming into the season, is that early in the season, I figured that Thomas Jones was going to get the ball a decent amount because... Charles has never played a full 16 games in the NFL as a starter, so he's not used to taking on a lot of carries in a season. So right now, even Charles, after the Browns game, he only had, I believe, 11 carries first week and second week uh, each week, So, and he admitted that he is the backup to Thomas Jones on Monday. So this will continue with him for a little while. Percy Harvin, hey, love the matchup this week against the Lions, but he's got a bad hip. May miss this game entirely. Probably not going to practice that much or at all this week. Uh, If he does have a full practice by Friday, I would upgrade him into a start because he does have a great matchup against the Lions. But we got to see him stay healthy. He's just had health health problems with the migraines or just physical issues, and uh, it's, it's stunting what could be a pretty good young career. For more fantasy football information, go to fantasy-info.com and sign up for our free e-newsletter. Good luck in your 2010 fantasy football league. As an added bonus, the Fantasy Info guys will include their five secret tips for success in fantasy football with your free subscription.